Mark Good. I had a question arises to you, Minister, what court records are held by the National Archives? The majority of the court records held by the National Archives date from the foundation of the modern Irish state in 1922. Well, sometimes you'd have to wonder, how modern is it? These include records relating to all levels of courts, including district court, circuit court, high court, central criminal court, and court of criminal appeal and supreme court. Some, uh, some earlier court records are dating back, uh, and they were just sort of destroyed in 1922. But I want to also say that, the, <coughs> as mentioned by other deputies, uh, the Civil War, I don't believe, and the Republicans often get blamed for this, that they destroyed the records. No, they didn't. Under the guise, they did some, very minimal. But under the guise of, of the, the, the insurgency by the, by the, the anti-treaty forces, the treaty forces demolished buildings and bombarded them, and they don't toll damage. And of course, uh, and it goes on to this day, living the, 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 the untrue myth that it was the Republicans that did all this. No way it wasn't. And I want to put that on the doll record very, quill, very clearly here today. Uh, these include the registers of Petty, uh, the older ones, Petty Sessions, uh, um, um, Quarter Sessions, and all the different uh, courts that went on back in, back in the day. So, Minister, the Land Commission has been mentioned by a number of speakers here on Commission Talon. did great work <coughs> at its inception <coughs> and was able to uh, allow many um, young uh, farmer families to eke out a living in the land, and many of them have expanded. Some have left more of the pity, but we have no Cowell and Land Commission in it. It's not, work, not functioning. And conglomerates are just gobbling up uh, land here, there, and everywhere. But records from the, uh, the Land Commission, people find it very hard to, 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 get, to get the records. And indeed, the same, with, uh, the same situation could be said with, uh, with the surveys that were done back in, and Deputy Osnoli referred to it, uh, back in, in, uh, at the inception of the state, 1935, uh, when they did a census of the Gaelic speakers uh, in, in some tier, or foot and tier, uh, and Elm Shin. And indeed, my own um, area, Costa and Ewan Ashura, it was a bracket up to 1950. And it's only in recent, um, in the last uh, decade, I suppose, really, that the last of those good people, uh, Gaelic speakers, Men and women of culture and heritage and love their language. In the uh, nation, Gontanga, I think it's PHP said that, a nation not a nation without its language, but they could do that at that time, as mentioned, but the Gadi could collect it. How come that we can't have this digitized now? How come we don't have the space, uh, you're told, that we extended by 10 years the retrieval of these records? By 10 years, we have space. The HSE have buildings rented all over every town in this country. Many other areas as well, where the voting machines, space was found to, to put them into buildings all over the country. And 20 year contracts were signed. And the waste and the cost of money that was there was enormous. So that excuse doesn't sit with me for one minute because the state has plenty of property and plenty of ways to get in property. And there are plenty, many uh, auctioneers out there and valuers and, and, and private people who have space. So that's a lame excuse. We need to pony up here, accept the delays that were held, and uh, be respectful of our culture, our heritage, and above all, our records. Good